Instagram is the best place to find new users and customers right now. What you want to do is find the one user who absolutely will love what you're doing, follow all of their followers, and look at the hashtags those followers use, and then use them in your post. When they look back at your profile, because you follow them, then they will start to see those hashtags, see that you understand them, and will start to tag their friends. Regarding hashtags, they're not going to save you, but they're just about worth doing. Let's say you're selling ties, you would not want to use the hashtag fashion. A million people use it every day, and you won't get anywhere near it. What you want to use is artisan ties, or handmade fashion, or some small hashtag that not a lot of people are competing for. The reason is, if you get a lot of likes in the first 15 minutes, you rank for that hashtag. Meaning anyone who's searching that hashtag, they will see your post first, and then you'll get extra uh, points from it. Regarding traffic, can you get traffic from Instagram? You can't put links in Instagram posts, but you can say, click the link in our bio for more information, which is only two clicks away. So by doing that, you can get traffic to the website, but Instagram traffic shows up as direct on Google Analytics. Direct traffic is anything from a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram app, anyone browsing privately, anyone clicking from an untagged email, it's a big mess. So let's say you want to have your homepage on Instagram, don't have yourdomain.com, have something like yourdomain.com forward slash go. So a different page, even if it looks exactly the same, and then only send traffic to it from Instagram, so you know that every person who hits that page from Instagram. Uh, people ask me what's the point in social media. As far as I'm concerned, for a small business, get clicks to your website. Um, if, if that metric is being hit, everything else is going well. So, what sort of posts should you be putting on Instagram? The easiest posts you can do that will make the most people entertained is memes. Memes are funny for kids right away up to adults, and they're pretty much brand safe. So here's one. This lady has a dog in the front seat and husband in the back. Like, everyone can relate to that. Here's another one. When you're trying to steal your roommate's food without the notice, <laughs> take a tiny slice of their pizza. Here's my favorite. My dream, a beautiful woman. My reality, a fat cat. <laughs> everyone who's lonely and owns a pet can relate to that. This has been at me a great Instagram post. So. This is Founder Magazine, going from zero to 110,000 followers in six months, made $200,000 just from sales for their online magazine from Instagram alone. So this is a picture of a lion, um, inspirational quote, vague title. And what they've done here is the most interesting part. And what a lot of people know, you can reply to your own Instagram post and dump up to 30 hashtags in there and they'll all rank. So they've got everything from inspired daily, businesswoman, grind, Quote of the day. All these seemingly unrelated hashtags, but they know that are probably ranked for two or three of them. So by dumping all of those in, they massively increase the chance they'll rank. They've also done the classic double tap if you agree. The two best posts for engagement on Instagram are double tap if you X and tag someone who Y. So double tap if you're going to crush it this week. Tag someone who's a great entrepreneur. This gets people putting the comments in that helps you to start ranking. The caveat with all of this is. It won't work because we have at least 3,000 followers. Not enough people will see it to start the viral spiral. So how should you get going? How did they get going? Well, they did shout outs. And shout outs are the main way to grow an Instagram account quicker. Um, that's one thing I learned at that influencers party. Uh, Ty Lopez, an uh, internet marketing millionaire, bought a mansion party on Saturday in LA. Um, and to get in the door, you need to have 400,000 followers. And when I got in, everyone was doing joint Snapchats and cross-pollinating their audience. So like 200,000 plus 200,000 plus 600,000. We were doing these group Snapchats. Everyone grows together. So how do you get shout outs if you don't have those influencers? This is Audience, A-U-D-I-E-N-S-E dot com. You can scrape almost all of Instagram by what's in people's bio. So this will now, and if you put a keyword in, so let's say fashion is your niche, so you can put that in there. Do you want to target boys or girls? Is it a company or person you're targeting and how many followers do they have? So if you're starting out, I find between 10,000 and 50,000 followers is the sweet spot. Beneath 10,000, not influential enough. Over 50,000 often sign to a big agency or $500 a post. If you don't have a product to sell, so you're only building an app, so you're going to want to ask them, do you do shout outs? Can we work out a partnership? So like $50 for a post, and then you measure how well they do. Don't just look at how many followers they have, also look at how many likes and crucially how many comments they have. That's how you can work out how influential they really are. 
So offer them money for a shout out. Once you find the people on here, you can follow them from here. But better than that, comment on one of their photos and send them a direct message at the same time, and it should see one of those two things. But if you sell something, that's where affiliates are really interesting. An affiliate is someone who brings you a sale. So if you sell something, you're going to want to uh, reach out and say, let me do a profit share if you bring me traffic. So an affiliate is someone who you give a little bit, you give whatever a percentage of your money to, to bring you a sale. So the example we did in our book is someone who sells WordPress widgets for $75. How much of that $75 do you think he gives to the person who brings in the sale? 75%. More. More. <laughs> the whole thing. She wins. The whole thing, yes. He gives for every for every sale seventy five dollars, he gives them seventy five dollars. So he makes zero dollars on every sale they bring him. But two things happen. Firstly, they love it because it's a massive chunk of cash. And secondly, he gets their email. E commerce is all about getting their email. He now has five million emails and one in every seven hundred and fifty emails he sends is a sale. So he now has a virtual slot machine that he can pull all day long and get sales. So when you're offering an affiliate through Instagram, give them as fat chunk as you possibly can without losing a ton of money. They'll be more, they'll have much more encouragement to do it. Uh, branch metrics is the software you can use to track the link. If you're not a designer, use Canva.com to create amazing flyers or Facebook app image or Pinterest long posts. You can use Text if you take photos of things that put the words over post. Later.com and Buffergram are good places to buffer up your Instagram posts. You don't have to physically be there when you send them. And Webster.me will help you find hashtags. 